In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remotely control your graphical user interface Linux server or Linux desktop. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I received this comment, what software do I use to connect the VPS so it shows the GUI. So in this video, I'm going to show you everything step by step what I tested actually already and it worked perfectly fine. So we will be using uh, the VNC application on both uh, remote server and the um, Windows computer where I'm going to remote this machine to control uh, this Linux server. All right, so let's start. So step number one, we are going to update the index. Okay, and then we are going to upgrade. So for that, the command is apt upgrade. So step number two is optional. So if you already have the desktop environment on your Ubuntu server or you're going to use this on your Ubuntu desktop, you can ignore this step. But if it's a new machine and you want to uh, remote the console of the server, then you need a desktop environment. So for this one, I have installed XFCE. For that, the command is this. I can, um, I will paste all the commands in the description of this video as well. So this is the command for XFCE and in previous videos where i showed you guys how you can install gui on your ubuntu server we have used the genome uh, desktop environment and there is two different display manager uh, gdm3 and the light dm so i'm just going to uh, enter this command as i know i already have this one but let's see if it asks for the uh, yeah you can see we already have the newest version of this one but uh, once you put this command it will prompt another screen uh, another purple screen of linux you can see so it will ask you what display manager you want so make sure you select light dm because that is lightweight Step number three, we are going to reboot our Ubuntu server after the installation of any uh, desktop environment. So in step number four, we are going to install the VNC. So we will be using tight VNC and uh, for that the command is apt install x11 VNC and press enter and i already have this one so you can see vnc 11 is already on the newest version so after that we are going to create a file for this vnc all right in this step we will create this file uh, with the name x11 vnc.service and make sure the location is uh, right so it's lib systemd system and then the file name so there is no such file uh, once you install this so nano command will automatically create this file for you and it will open for you so uh, if i uh, if i hit enter it's gonna show me some text but by default it's gonna be empty so i will provide you all the code uh, in the description of this video you just need to copy make sure to update the password here in configuration file and then right click in the party and then Control x and hit y to save so as i already have everything here so i don't need to uh, save anything to this one and then after that uh, we are almost done with the installation of vnc then we are going to uh, simply restart the uh, sorry reload the daemon and then we will enable the service so i'll show you uh, all the commands step by step so this is uh, the first uh, command to reload the daemon and then we are going to enable the service and this is the command for this one 
and uh, because I already have this one I will show you uh, with the last command so after enabling this we are going to start this service and then uh, the last command what I'm going to show you is to see the status so I'm just going to paste this one and hit enter so you can see it's running and uh, it's active okay so now I'm coming uh, onto my computer and I will show you what software we are going to uh, need to get the remote console of this machine okay so you go to this website tightvnc.com and then click on download now so it's very simple installation you just need to hit uh, next 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 and so uh, I already have installed this one so it's showing me change repair or remove but I'm not going to do anything for this one you just need to hit uh, uh, next next and then finish and make sure you use the typical installation after that you need to search for tight VNC viewer IP address of the machine and the port number is the default port number so you have to use this 5900 and one thing what I missed in the configuration uh, let me go back to this file so it's the x11vnc.service file so here you need to change the password here so in my case it's a test machine i just set a simple password so this password is for vnc not for our ubuntu machine that has a different username and a different password so uh, whenever i will connect to uh, linux server using the vnc service it's going to ask me for the password and i will use this password so you can change this whenever you want okay i'm going to exit this and uh, let me show you the ip address as well so you can see it's 10 slash 24 so i have the same ip address 10 and make sure to put the port number it is necessary because we are going to use the uh, vnc connection okay i'm going to click on connect so if you see in this uh, login prompt where it asks you for the password so that means you are almost successfully uh, entered into your machine you just need the password so as I showed you I uh, had the password test so as I enter test it's uh, showing me uh, this machine here so this was so simple so easy all you need to do is to understand uh, the steps what I showed you and uh, one thing I will I would like to recommend you once you install uh, the desktop uh, environment on your Ubuntu server make sure you change the display settings so it won't uh, lock down after five minutes so for that let me show you uh, all step by step so once you are in your machine you go to the settings and then under settings you go to the privacy and under privacy there is lock screen and you need to uh, turn off all of these automatic screen lock turn off and lock screen on suspend turn off show notification on the lock screen turn off and just close this one so you can see I can control uh, my Linux machine from uh, my Windows computer so thank you so much guys for watching this video and if you felt uh, this video was interesting and can be helpful for your friends and family make sure to share this video with them and hit the like button and make sure to subscribe the channel if you're not subscribers thank you so much i'll see you in the next video bye